So guys, today is my last day in the Camaro. I've actually sold it. Pretty sad day. I've kind of been depressed for the past few days, but there's a few things with the Camaro that, you know, this car had to go. Uh, so let's get into it. Number one. So I, I feel like uh, I've had this for three years. The car is not running that smooth. So the, for a brand new car, I mean, I shouldn't be feel like that this car is gonna have problems soon. So sometimes I feel like when you're accelerating, the car is kind of jerky and the acceleration, you can see the needle keeps on jumping up and down. I did talk to Chevrolet about it. They kind of didn't do anything. Uh, I, I don't know what the issue is. I've read other people on the forums talking about it. Um, I am actually giving it back to the dealership. So getting something else, you're gonna find out in a different video for that. It's kind of making noises too. Uh, I'm not enjoying it anymore. Well, I have to say I do enjoy the performance exhaust. So if the Tesla guys are watching, I still love my, my Camaro. <laughs> I feel like just within three years, the car does not feel good anymore. There's like problems about to happen. And this is like my fifth car. And this is the first one that's actually started to have problems so quickly. No, I don't know if this is a uh, Chevrolet thing, but uh, this was my first Chevrolet and not, not really impressed with the outcome. So number two, uh, road trips. So if you're a passenger, the seat does not go back. You gotta kind of sit up just like the driver. That really sucks, especially if you're taking turns driving. The seat does not go back. You cannot do long road trips with this. Secondly, obviously it's low profile tires. The car is pretty low to the ground. You're pretty much feeling every bump and we do a lot of road trips so it's tough to do road trips with the Camaro uh, plus there's not a lot of space either so if you're a Camaro owner you may have seen my video where uh, I try to fit suitcases and I show you how many you can fit so you could fit suitcases but it's kind of a struggle and plus if you're going camping and stuff there's not a lot of stuff you can carry in here so the seat the bumpiness all that combined, you know, it's not a comfortable ride to do road trips and we do a lot of road trips for three. So we were blessed with a baby this year and this car is not made for babies. So it does, you could actually fit car seats in here and your stroller. And I made a separate video on that. You can, you can uh, see the link in the description below. Uh, but dude, the, your baby car seat, putting it in and taking it out, trust me. It is not something you want to be doing all the time. It gets tiring, especially as your baby's growing. It is a struggle to put the baby in and then take the baby out. And for, for the first year, the car seat, the way it is, the baby just sits inside it and you take the whole car seat out. So this way, if the baby's sleeping, you're fine. It's not a toddler car seat and pretty much everybody gets the regular car seat. So with a baby, I mean, you can manage, but after a while, it gets really annoying taking the baby in and out. So reason number three. I'll be honest, I probably have like another 10 minutes with this Camaro. Uh, past three years, I totally enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun going places, the performance exhaust, just driving fast. Uh, the look of the car, I think this model was probably by far the best looking. I did not like the 2019 or 20, they updated the lights and the body a little bit. I think the 18, 6th generation was probably the best. The interior was nice, the Apple CarPlay screen. Um, it even came with a snow mode, unfortunately, snow mode, unfortunately we never went to Canada, so probably my first car that we never took to Canada. Um, the way the sunroof comes out, uh, it tilts up and that looks super slick unlike other cars where it just goes in. 20 inch rims, that, that was really nice. Um, so yeah, I mean, uh, if, if you're looking for a coupe, personally between the Mustang, the, the Dodge and the Camaro, I would definitely ask, say, get the Camaro. It's not just about the power, you gotta look at the looks too. And if you want the power, then definitely get the SS, the V8. I've test driven it, that thing is a beast and it sounds sick. And you know, Chevrolet is going into um, electric cars in the next, like I think by 2035, they're gonna be all electric. 
So I'm super interested how Chevrolet is gonna do electric cars with their Camaro brand and their Corvette brand. Uh, so, lots to think about. But anyways, I'm I'm gonna miss this car. It's been a it's been a good three years, but uh, with you know the baby and everything, the car is gonna go. So, what did I? What's my new car? Well, you're gonna find out soon. So, see you guys later. That's it, guys. The car is gone. Chevrolet's taking the car back. It was a good three years, but you know we enjoyed it. So on to the next one.